I'm Clara Lynn Phillips, the Executive Director of the American Diabetes Association of Western Pennsylvania. And today, Sunday, June the 24th, we are having our Tour de Cure in Seneca Valley. We are thrilled to be here. We have cyclists who have already gone out for a 100-mile ride, our 50-mile ride in our 2030. We're preparing now for our family fun ride that is eight miles. We have this event throughout the country. It has raised more than $12 million. I am delighted to say that in Western Pennsylvania, this event is growing and growing, and this year is our largest ever, and we are very excited about that. My name is Raymond Albert. I'm a ham radio operator. We have a lot of hams here from all over western Pennsylvania that are taking care of this ride. We've got the CB Rangers out of Butler uh, that are here to help us today too. They take care of the fun ride and we take care of the other ride. Well, we go from here at Seneca Valley High School, we go through Harmony. Uh, the 100 miler goes through Newcastle, up through, through Volant, uh, through McConnell's Mills and back here. The 50 mile an hour does about the same. It cuts off through West Pittsburgh and comes across the 20 and 30, goes from Seneca to Mars and out through that area. Then we have a fun ride which the CB Rangers are helping us with uh, the last few years. And it goes in through Ziggy and Opal and Harmony. It's a short ride just for the kids and the younger people that don't have the experience. Thank you. I know you're all anxious to get going. We'll get you going in just a sec. Just on behalf of WTA Channel 4, thank you very much for doing this. Uh, we love to sponsor these bike rides, and hopefully one year it'll be just a bike ride instead of a diabetes bike ride because we'll be rid of this darn disease. Uh, but thank you so much for coming out. The forecast today is 78 and low humidity, so it's great riding weather. Uh, make sure and get your fluids in you, though. Know, on a day like today, you'll dry out a little faster just for your breathing in the dry air, so be ready for that. But have a great day. Thank you so much. Enjoy the day, and uh, we sure appreciate you all coming out. This is our 10th year for the Tour de Cure in Western Pennsylvania. It continues to grow every year. We think this year we'll break all records with approximately 500 riders. Throughout the country, we have raised over $12 million for Tour de Cure. We have marvelous sponsors. We're proud to say that Siemens is back on board with a presenting sponsorship. First Commonwealth, our good friends who sponsor so much of what we do, are sponsoring our hospitality tent and our thank you luncheon this year. Duquesne Light is also a sponsor. Pendale Coatings, University of Pittsburgh Diabetes Institute, also Butler Memorial Hospital. And we have many more who are giving us gifts and kind as well as rest stop sponsors. We have 10 rest stops. All of those are sponsored as well. Dan Malarano, could you please, from Siemens, come to where the megaphone is. Thank you. <laughs>
Well, this is my tour de cure mobile. It's a recumbent with fairings on it. I ride it once a year on the tour de cure. Don, uh, on behalf of the American Diabetes Association, we are so grateful to you for doing this and serving as our honorary chair. This is the fourth year in a row that I am delighted to present you with this award. And thanks and appreciation for your being honorary chair for the American Diabetes Association's Tour de Cure. Oh, thank well, you. Thank you so much. I thank, oh, you. thank you. That is awesome. Thank you. You know what? I um, you don't have to do that. That's all right. Yeah, I don't no mind. Pleasure. Thank you, Clarilyn, very much. No, I'm just glad this event keeps growing every year. So, uh, thank you. And hopefully, if you didn't make it out this year, we'll see you out here next year. I think I'm even going to try and ride. We'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> How was the ride there, Sean? Tell us about uh, it. The ride was beautiful. Um, the weather was perfect. We had some nice flowing flats. We had some nice challenging hills. Um, went through a couple of parks, some neighborhoods, and um, we picked up a lot of speed. We challenged going uphill for 50 miles, so overall it was really good. And uh, I feel great afterwards. I'm going to do it again next year. Elwood City, Woo! rest stop number one, volunteer. Elwood City, go. Type 1 and type 2 diabetes are growing by, especially type 2 diabetes, are growing by leaps and bounds. We now say that one in three babies born since the year 2000 will be impacted by diabetes during their lifetime. Diabetes is essentially type 1 diabetes where the autoimmune system attacks the islet cells and the islet cells eventually are killed off and so therefore one has to use insulin in order to survive. So that is why you see people wearing pumps with insulin or taking shots of insulin because without insulin you don't have energy and you can't live. 